Good morning, sisters and brothers. We all know those folks. The folks who can quote you scripture, including chapter and verse, but sometimes don't actually live by what they, what they say. For the scriptures, brothers and sisters, are, are not merely meant to be memorized. They are there to be instructions for how we should live, how we should be in relationship with God and with each other. That's the real test of the scriptures. And merely memorizing them is, is not enough, is not enough. Now you might think that this is a, a modern problem. Maybe it's only come about through the advent of the internet and Facebook. No, it's, it's always been sort of a challenge for, for Christians. It's, it's that letter of the law versus spirit of the law type of approach. I was reading some words from St. Francis, Francis of Assisi, and he talks about this. I wanna give you that quotation. Francis says, what a great shame that while the saints actually followed in the footsteps of the Lord, we, today's servants of God, expect glory and honor simply because we can recite what they did. Wow. The saints actually followed in the footsteps of Jesus. They did what Jesus, what Jesus did and what Jesus commands us to do. And yet, some of those folks, the ones who merely memorize the, the scriptures but don't live into them, well, they fall into this category, don't they? They expect glory and honor, not because they do these things, but because they can recite them and can talk about what other people did. That's, that's missing the boat, I think. For if we, we merely can read about and regurgitate the stories of the past without actually living them, well, those stories really have not done for us what God intended them to do. Remember, Scripture is, a, is an, an instruction book for life. And so, okay, that sounds fine, Rick, but what, what does that mean? Well, it comes down to this. Think about what Jesus said. Now, Jesus knew the Scriptures too. And remember when he went to the synagogue and it was his turn to read and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah? He quoted from Isaiah, from the Old Testament, from the, the Jewish Bible at the time, and said, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to release the oppressed. And then having finished that passage from scripture, he rolled it up and he said something remarkable to them. He said, today in your sight and in your hearing, the scripture has been fulfilled. Now, yes, that was a proof uh, and, and claim to the Messiahship, but more than that, what Jesus was really saying to them was, I don't just know this scripture, I live this scripture. Because that's what Jesus did. Jesus didn't come to the powered, the, powered, the, the privileged, the wealthy, the authorities, those in, uh, in the church or in politics uh, or even the merchants. No, Jesus came to the poor, the marginalized. He ate with the outcasts and the lepers. He healed the sick, those who had been chronically sick forever. And those people were on the far edges of society. So today, as you think about the scriptures, brothers and sisters, don't just memorize them. Let, them. let them become internally part of who and what you are and let them then infuse how you work in the world so that each one of us can not just know what Jesus said, but can live as Jesus lived, preaching 
the good news to the poor, announcing God's pardon to those who are blind or deaf, to those who are burdened and, and are longing to be set free. Let us be the messengers that say, God loves you today and tomorrow and yesterday. You can be that person. You can bring that light of the gospel to someone who is in pain, who is, is burdened by all of the cares of the day. You can proclaim their release from that self-imposed prison that they're in if we will just try to not merely learn the words, but live the words. That's it. Short message for you today, my brothers and sisters. May you go forth and live as Jesus lived and bring God's word into a hurting world. God bless you.